What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you, Madden 19. You know, last year I talked about whoever runs the EA or Madden Twitter account kind of being disconnected from the product, and it, it continued today in a way that I think a lot of people were really off-put by in a tweet that actually got deleted. It was, quote, I'm really good at Madden. The game just hates me. Hashtag the lies we all tell ourselves. I mean, at this point, I feel like EA isn't really ingrained in the community enough to understand that its game has some major problems. I've got a video up last week, almost 200,000 views, 2,000 likes, that simply talks about the game cheating the user. You've got people that will swear to you that there is dynamic difficulty adjustment, that the game manipulates plays and players in accordance with how well or how poorly the user is doing to keep the player engaged. In fact, myself and Marcus Whitman have a whole video coming up where we discuss this. But at the same time, this is also a Twitter account that's been pushing money plays. You know, the problem is, I feel like we're never going to get a better game if there's not an agreement that there's a problem. And rather than taking that first step and saying, hey, our game has some flaws, we appreciate the fact that it's still being generally received well by the community as in sales, but we're going to make sure that we listen to your feedback the most and continue to progress and get this game going forward. They continue to almost patronize us by proclaiming their game is, is nearly better than it is. I mean, I'm really good at Madden, the game just hates me. The lies we tell ourselves, let's be honest, the lies that EA has been telling us is what's been put in this game, what's been improved in this game, and everything they've used to sell this game for the past few years. Those are the lies. That, to me, that's the only person really lying here. You have people in this community that are making thousands of dollars simply opening up packs of cards that EA provides them or going on and showing you how to exploit games and plays so that you can become a better player online with absolutely no football score. And I'm not taking anything away from those guys. I I'd never knock anybody for creating a living or having fun or making money with a video game. Go right ahead. But at some point, EA needs to stand up and say, listen, we've got some things that are wrong going on and we have to make a better product and hold ourselves accountable rather than sitting here and telling the community, oh, you're lying to yourself because you actually just have the game thinking it's hating you when you're not good at the game at all. I mean, that's absurd. I can't think of any other gaming company that would come out and even make a statement like this. Because it's so disrespectful to the people that purchase your product. But then again, so is the poor quality of the game EA's put out for the past few years. So maybe this kind of slips through the cracks. Regardless, here's the tweet. It's been deleted. Love your thoughts. Appreciate you checking this out. And I'll be back in the week with more commentary.